OK, we're going to have a look at this equation. Now, we've seen these in class, and they are actually quadratic equations in disguise. Now, in an exam style question, you will most likely be given a substitution to use. So, for example, use the substitution that y is equal to 5 to the x. OK? So, first of all, what we should do is we should rewrite this equation. And you can write 25 as 5 squared. OK? And it's all to the x, so effectively that's 5 to the 2x. And we've got take away 6 lots of 5 to the x plus 5. Okay, so this is, in other words, so we've got 5 to the 2x, you can see can be written as 5 to the x squared, okay, just through our index laws. So 5 to the x is now y, so I can write this 5 to the 2x as y, the bit in the brackets, squared. We've also got 6 lots of 5 to the x. 5 to the x is now y, so it's minus 6 lots of y. Plus 5 is 0. Here's the quadratic. Okay. So now you can factorise that as y minus 5, y minus 1. So for this to be true, either y is 5 or y is 1. Now if y is 5, remember what y is? Well y is 5 to the x. So 5 to the x is equal to 5, or 5 to the 1. So x must be equal to 1 in this case. If we have a look at y is equal to 1, then that means 5 to the x must be equal to 1. Now remember from the first law of indices that if you've got 5 to the x is equal to 1, x must be equal to 0, because 5 to the 0 is equal to 1. So these are your two solutions to the original equation. Okay. The important part is that you are able to get from this equation to this one. Okay. That is very important. You'll be given this substitution to use. Okay? So you really need to practice your understanding of indices in order for you to get from here to here. There are examples of this in the progress booklet and the exercise book.